Ezekiel 48 verse 35 says, All the way around shall be 18,000 cubits, about six miles, and the name of the city from that day shall be, The Lord is there. Ezekiel 48 concludes the prophetic vision with a powerful reminder of God's enduring covenant with his people. Despite their past failures and disobedience, God's faithfulness remains. The city bearing the name, the Lord is there, reassures us that God desires to dwell among his people, promising a future of restoration and blessings. Ezekiel 48 verses 1 through 7 talk about the distribution to the northern tribes. Ezekiel begins by detailing the land division among seven of the tribes of Israel, namely Dan, Asher, Naphtali, Manasseh, Ephraim, Reuben, and Judah. They are all located to the north of the holy portion. Verses 8 through 22 talk about the holy district. The holy portion of the land in the center is described, which includes the sanctuary, the most holy place, the land for the Levitical priests, the land for the city, and the prince's portion. This central positioning of the holy district signifies God's presence amidst his people. Verses 23 through 29 talk about the allocation to the southern tribes. The distribution of the land to the remaining five tribes, Benjamin, Simeon, Issachar, Zebulun, and Gad, is delineated. These tribal territories are situated south of the holy district. And then verses 30 through 35 of Ezekiel 48 talk about the holy city and its gates. Finally, the chapter outlines the layout of the holy city including the 12 gates named after the 12 tribes of Israel. The city is given a new name. The Lord is there, signifying God's perpetual presence among his people. Ezekiel 48, the concluding chapter of the book of Ezekiel, presents an intricate divine plan for the allocation of the promised land among the 12 tribes of Israel. It also describes the holy portion designated for the Lord, where the sanctuary, the priestly land, the city, and the prince's land reside. The prophetic vision reinforces God's unwavering commitment to his covenant with Israel, depicting a future of restoration, order, and divine presence among his people. It says, All the way around shall be 18,000 cubits. So once more, an actual measurement gives a literal and not its symbolic sense. This will be a kingdom, Jerusalem, a new city for the new nation and the new era. The measurement of 18,000 reeds calls for a circumference somewhat less than six miles. Jerusalem in Josephus' day, which was first century AD, was about four miles. It says that the Lord is there. Throughout the larger section of Ezekiel 40 through 48, the name of the city of Jerusalem is never specifically mentioned. Here, we discover why. God will give the city a new name. It will be known as Yahweh Shema. Yahweh is there. In that day, the overwhelming character and idea of Jerusalem will be that God was there. Ezekiel experienced the horror of seeing the glory of God departing from the temple in a vision, Ezekiel 11. Then he saw it return, Ezekiel 43, verse 5. Now, in the new name for the city, he received the assurance that God would remain. Spurgeon says, We bethink us of the truth that there is to be a millennial age, a time of glory and peace and joy and truth and righteousness. But what is to be of the glory of it? Why this Jehovah Shema, the Lord, is there? The principle will carry on into the eternal state. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. Revelation 21.3 Warren Worsby explains, Quote, 
This is one of seven compound names of Jehovah found in the Old Testament. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will provide. Jehovah Rapha, the Lord who heals. Jehovah Shalom, the Lord our peace. Jehovah Tenitsku, the Lord our righteousness. Jehovah Shema, the Lord is present. Jehovah Nisi, the Lord our banner. Jehovah Raha, the Lord our shepherd. The name tells of complete satisfaction, that of God and that of man. God is at rest among his people. His original purpose is now realized. Man is seen at rest in God, his true destiny reached. Maranatha.